Hi, this is Luke Zip from Crocker Farm Auction, and I'm here with an outstanding example of Cowden and Wilcox Harrisburg, Pennsylvania stoneware that we will be offering in our November 3rd stoneware and redware auction. You know, this is just a beautiful example of what collectors of American stoneware, and especially central Pennsylvania stoneware, will want in a pot. You know, really the decoration is everything with Cowden and Wilcox stoneware. There's a lot of examples out there. And so collectors really you know, can be uh, discerning in wanting an example of really profuse, elaborate decoration. And this is one such example. It's really outstanding. And so, you see, it's a six gallon pot. And so it's a very large canvas for cobalt oxide decoration. And the type of stoneware that was being made at the Calvin Wilcox Pottery is really New York State style stoneware, the type of stoneware that began in Rochester, New York around 1840 under the pottery of Nathan Clark. Just this pure South Amboy, uh, New Jersey clay, this pure gray, you know, almost whitish clay, making just a, a very clean canvas for cobalt oxide figural decorations. And so the, the potters, you know, under, at the pottery of Nathan Clark in Rochester, you know, John Berger decorations, just those really bold, elaborate, figural designs that became kind of the favorite design motif in this New York style of stoneware, which then filtered down and bled down into Pennsylvania. And so what was being made in Harrisburg was so much different than what was the Mid-Atlantic style that was being made in you know, Huntington County, Pennsylvania, in Philadelphia. The Harrisburg factories really favored New York style with that figural decoration. And so Calvin Wilcox stoneware is very collectible because these are artistic renderings on you know, stoneware vessels, use, using them as canvases. And a lot of collectors, you love, uh, they love Calvin Wilcox bird decorations. You know, it's pretty rare to find a Calvin Wilcox bird, but not extremely rare. You can find that. You also find examples with grapes decorations. This is awesome that it's, it's a very rare piece to have both and just this really bold, elaborate decoration executed perfectly on a pot. So you have a bird perched on a grapevine with clusters of grapes all around. It's exciting. So this is a piece that hasn't been known to the collecting community ever before. It recently surfaced in a family um, in North Carolina, of all places. I'm not quite sure how it ended up there, but it's never been offered for public sale. This, that's one of the privileges in our business. A lot of times we're the first, we, we get the first opportunity to offer a great piece to the public for a purchase. And so this is one such example. It will be in our November 3rd Stoneware and Redware auction.